What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and we are going to be doing a quick review and build of the three boys, the three gold machines. We've got Haaland, we have got Harry Kane and of course we have Rodrigo here as well, right? So we are on OC's account, you can see there he did have to go deep, 26 out of 150, but we're going to show you the builds, right? Very, very quickly. All right, so we're going to start off with Harry Kane, right? So I'm actually going to show you this build of Harry Kane, which is probably the best, right? It's a deep line forward. What does deep line forward do? Deep line forward is going to come into that attacking midfielder area, especially if you're not playing an attacking midfielder. So it can be very interesting if you aren't playing an AMF and you aren't playing a hold player or a creative playmaker, Harry Kane is going to drop a little bit deep. Now this works well with goal poachers or with foxes in the box, such as Erling Haaland. This is the build I think is probably the best, right? It's probably the fastest Harry Kane that they've released. Definitely the fastest, most mobile Harry Kane. But his player ID is still going to be a little bit clunky. There's nothing you can do about that. It doesn't matter if he has 90 balance, 90 acceleration. He's 188, he's 89 kg. It's going to be a difficult player to control in terms of the clunk factor, right? Now he will be excellent in the air, excellent in front of goal. 90 finishing is probably more than enough. Attacking awareness at 95 is lovely. Acceleration, kick and power, physical contact. This is the build right here that we're going to go for. 4-0-4, 4 0 4 11 11 4 and that is going to be it. And then also with this, if you wanted to add some additional skills, I would probably add aerial superiority to this card. That's probably where I would go with first and chip shot control. And the rest of the stats, man, and the skills are pretty decent, right? They're going to be a very, very decent card for a booster. If you're going to be giving him the booster there, any booster will do. I think this is kind of the sweet spot with him. Probably give a booster to his dribbling, which is the technique plus one. That will raise his tight possession to 85. I don't think that you could give him an accelerate or uh, agility, even though that would raise his balance to 75. I think give it to his tight possession. I think that will make a difference for him, right? And again, you're only going to be playing him as a CF, okay? Haaland. So if anyone remembers Haaland when he first burst onto the scene in eFootball, he was insane. Huge attack and awareness on this card, 94 finishing. You can obviously give him a booster as well to boost up his finishing to 95 if you're so inclined to do so, right? I think with this card, I'm probably going to give him that finishing booster, right? Or, you know, something like that booster that's going to boost up his finishing to 95. Speed 90, acceleration 90, kick and power 90, jump in 90, physical contact 94, 80 type possession. You're not going to, so don't waste your time trying to get that balance higher than 70. It's not going to be worth it, right? 7, 0, 9, 13, 2, 6, 3 into goalkeeper 1 for the jump, and that will raise it up to 90. It's a very solid card. All of these builds are with the champs. Our Alonso will work as well, similar to that. You can kind of give him an extra point if you want to, which Abby Alonso on certain stats. Now, last but not least, we have Rodrigo. So I actually think Rodrigo's build is very straightforward. It's got a 90 in attack and awareness, 94, 95, 95. Don't need passing um, unless you're going to be playing him as a right midfielder, which he can't play. You'll have to train it up to him. 90 finishing is huge, 95 speed, 95 acceleration, and 90 balance. The only thing he's missing out on is 83 um, kick and power. You could give him one more into kick and power and then give him the booster as well, but you're not going to get it to 85 unless you do a different build. And this card as well, I do think that heel trick is important on him, but the rest of the stats that he has, double touch or skills, double touch, flip flap, and soul control is going to give you that advanced double touch or ball roll. Outside curler, depending on how high up the pitch you're going to be playing with him. One change I might make to this guy is if you are playing him as a center forward, you could actually give him a small bit more um into sorry you could give him a booster that boosts his physical contact to 70 but again if you're playing him as a cf it's not going to really make too much of a difference you could alternate between giving him less shooting if you don't shoot a lot or if you have two main strikers you could take a couple of that and give it into passing or aerial strength but that is the build seven four ten eight eight zero 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 and the rest of it three really good players I do feel as if Rodrigo's probably the pick of him. Haaland probably a close second. Haaland, of course, does have um, very nice skills, but he has bullet header, while Harry Kane, of course, does have phenomenal finishing. So it is an interesting kind of ch time now. I do think with V4.2, we will see changes to this style of kind of releasing cards, but that is it for me. It's another video, another review. Are they worth it? At this stage, I'm probably going to hold tough on my own account and see if any good card is going to be coming. Buffon on Monday is going to be interesting to see. We will go for Buffon and see what he's like. But other than that, it's going to be new legends that I'm interested in. That's kind of where I'm going to go with it. I will talk to you later, lads. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Please do give the channel a chance. Subscribe and we'll see you in a bit. Peace.